This is the final of the February Open. In the red on the far side, Robert Gardos from Austria. And in the near side in the black and pink stripe, Tae Hoon Kim coming here from Korea. He had here in this tournament a uh, small team from Korea visit about five or six players or so. The lone survivor here, Kim. And we start off one apiece. Kim with the classic penhold style. He will just use the one side of his penhold racket. And you can see his versatility stepping around, his quickness going straight down the line for a winner. return of serve as Kim has applied the pressure on Gardos. Gardos is the number one seed in the men's singles. Nice and that serve got Kim a little confused there and he just reacted and made a weak return. Gardos took advantage. They're 4-2 at the first towel break. Powerful forehand from the backhand corner. Too much for Gardos to handle. Oh, and although Kim is moving very well on that point, Gardos just played too much angle, moving him side to side and could not keep up. So point to Gardos, yet he's still behind now, 3-5. Yes, and returning that serve. Kim left that wide forehand side open and Gardos recognized it. Great placement as he is closing in. A beautiful counter loop by Tae Hoon Kim. Very powerful, sharp angle. I think Gardas is now on guard. Oh, that is a great play by Kim. He is willing to move and throw his whole body into those shots. And that stroke, very powerful winner. And he made Gardos uncomfortable on that serve. And he's established a commanding 8-4 lead. What a big plus that would be. Gardos, an established veteran, ITTF, world ranked. Competed in three Olympic Games. A great response by Gardos. Getting Kim a little out of position using his reliable backhand. And goes to the backhand again. All established by that serve. Great placement on that return of serve. I think Kim really wants to, to attack that third ball and it just wasn't there for him. Well, just as it looked like Kim was on his way to take this first game, what a 
how quickly this has gone from an 8-4 lead to 8-all. Gardos playing the long rally there and finding an uncovered spot there in the forehand corner. Backhand down the line. Brilliant play. 8-all. Once again with the backhand, setting it up. Kim thought that he made a nice short place return, but Gardos was able to flick it and gain an advantage, and now he's up 9-8, having been down 8-4. Oh. Boy, did Gardos really turn it around. Down 8-4, he has now scored six in a row. And Kim that time had a response for Gardos' backhand loop, but, but Gardos just would, would not give up, relentless, and eventually finished it off with a forehand down the line. Game point. Oh. Unforced error. Gardos forced an advantage situation, could not take advantage. Kim is still in this game, serving 9-10. Game one goes to Robert Gardos, the number one seed from Austria, 11-9. Was a little dicey for him there. He was down 8-4, but dominated the last half of that first game. Well, game one saw a strong finish from Robert Gardos, the number one seed. Will he continue the momentum? And uh, perhaps he found something that gave him a big advantage there. Or perhaps it was just a lapse by Kim. And Taehoon Kin wants to come out strong in the second game, just like he did in the first game. And that's a good start with that short serve. Players have just, just finished learning to uh, what each other can do. Point to Gardos. Gardos, a longtime veteran, as I mentioned. He just turned 40 years old last month. He's been hanging around the ITTF top 50 for the net last dozen years or so, three times Olympic appearance. Oh, an excellent, uh, an excellent response to that opening. Gardos could not get a full power on that, but 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 Kim made sure that that open table was gonna, he was gonna get that and made a, a clean winner. You may notice here in Westchester there is a uh, strong support for the Korean. I, uh, there are some table tennis pockets here in the New York tri-state area uh, clubs. They have come out to support the Korean Taehyung Kim. We are now on 4-2. Oh, he, Kim went for that. And probably rightfully so, that serve did go a little bit long. Just could, did not execute properly. Three, serving four. Okay. Kim showing some really good defense there with that pen hold style. But Gardos was a little too much. It was more of a Gardos attacking Kim responding and he could only hang on for so much until Gardos found the opening to hit a winner. Nice short play there by Kim. He really desperately wants to tie this game up at one apiece. Oh. 
one weak ball, and Gardas will take advantage of it. And that backhand dominance there. Kim with the uh, pen hold grip. With the classic one-sided pen hold grip, he was only able to defend those powerful backhand top spins. What a, mi a miss hit there. That uh, really gives Gardos a, a little bit of an edge here to go up 7-5 instead of 6-6. Six, six. Power, too much power, too much spin. Gardas was able to open on serve return. Oh, a great defense by Kimmies. Many of these pinhole players, they really have good defense. And although Gardas established the attack, Kim did a great job to keep the ball in play and keep this game still close. Well placed push there. A little. Kim had to move a little too much to his right. Couldn't get the uh, foundation to make a shot like that. Elgardo swings game two. It is a being up 10-6, you have the freedom to to make aggressive returns like that, and it paid off. Taehoon Kim is Taehoon Kim is not here without support. There is a nice Korean turnout here, Korean American cheering him on. He needs all that support he can get to get back into this match. That's a good start. was not quite ready for that fast down the line serve. Oh. Looks like a lucky break there with that net dribbler, but uh, Kim really fighting hard. He was able to return that net ball. Most players would not. And there he gets a net ball of his own, but that was a bit shorter than the previous one. Gardas could not handle that. So a fortunate break for each player. And we are now tied at two. Well placed ball. Kim does not want Gardas opening with that backhand. And that was low and short. Not an easy shot, even though it looks like it may have been easy, but uh, so good defense by Kim. Punching back that first attack quickly. Guard is not, not able to reset and make a winner. Kim has that classic uh, square pen hold racket that many Koreans have played with, and in particular, Ru Sung Min was known to play with that racket, the 2004 gold medalist. So it is a sort of a same style as Yoo Sung Min, um, but not on the international scene has Kim been, but a, a professional player, high quality player. If you play the USATT ratings, if you're into that, well, he's, he has appeared 
in this country before, and he's established a uh, 2666 rating. Definitely a high quality player. And a short serve pays off for Gardas. Gardos quickly got back in this match. Big serve sequence of Gardos. He, he got uh, Kim to push into the net, and he got him to set him up for a third ball winner. So, so now the, match, the game has evened out at five. And there's the quality play of Gardos finding an opening. You know, Kim has to, uh, with that pen held style, he's got to cover a lot of ground there, and Gardos is going wide to his forehand. Smart play, and he does the wide forehand again. This is why Gardas is a high-ranked international player. He has once achieved a world ranking of 18th. In 2015, he was the 18th ranked player in the world. It's not just about power and strokes, it's placement as well. Cardos feels he shouldn't have missed that, but it was a, a, a very heavy backspin ball and did not come out too much. So Kim is still in this game. And a big point there to make it 8-6, and Kim wanted to. He actually uh, moved a little early, guessing that the ball would come to his backhand court, moved all the way around so he can make his powerful forehand shot. Uh, he just didn't execute on it. Oh, well, it looked for a moment that point was going to end early when he uh, forced Gardos to pop up his serve. He did not, did not take advantage. Uh, perhaps he could have uh, been a little more alert, do a quick footwork movement and then snaps the ball like that except you need to put it on the table uh, these are huge mistakes for Kim uh, he would like to have those back and now Gardos is serving for the match game and match for Robert Gardos Everyone here at Westchester Table Tennis Club appreciating the, the fine display of table tennis. Kim did not let him get away easy with it. Uh, he had to win quality points to win that match, even though the, the scores might say otherwise. Uh, this was a well-played match. The trophies are presented to the winner and runner-up. And just to give an idea of the quality of Tae Hoon Kim, he defeated Caden Shu in the semifinal.